Welcome back, I'm Sarah, and today we're gonna to be building a beautiful foyer table or entry table using some of our brand new round table legs. We're also going to be showing you a little bit on how you can install hanger bolts into plain round table legs and ways that you can install table legs if you don't wanna use a table skirt. So stick around for the next episode of The Builder Studio. <laughs> What we're gonna do here is we're gonna measure out where we want our blocks to be for when we install our table legs. So what we're thinking is we're going to go seven inches in, so we'll have a seven inch overhang this way, and then we'll come one inch in so that we'll just have a one inch overhang this way. I'm just gonna mark a few different places here where the seven inch overhang is going to start so that that way I'll have a clean line where I can line up my blocks. Now we'll do one inch this way. What we're using to install our table legs are called mounting blocks. And these are just basically blocks of wood that have a threaded insert in the middle. This particular one is our part number 918, which is a four inch by four inch block, but we also have these available in other sizes depending on what you need as well. Now the way that these blocks are set up is you have four screw holes in the corner and then your threaded insert in the middle. The threaded insert is where you're going to install your table legs at and the four screw holes are going to be what you use to install the block to the underside of your tabletop. Now the blocks are also going to come with all of the screws that you're going to need to install these. These particular screws are one and a quarter inches long. You may need to change to different screws depending on the thickness of your tabletop. So make sure that you take a look at the screws compared to your block, compared to your top to make sure that you don't accidentally have a screw pop through your top as you're installing these. Before I move on to installing my last block, you wanna make sure when you're installing the bolts that you don't just stop installing at the end of the wood threaded part. You wanna countersink it enough that it's going to end up flush with the, um, the wood plate when you finish installing everything. An easy way to make sure that you drill far enough in that you're able to countersink your bolt far enough is to mark off your drill bit just with a piece of tape. And that's what I've done here. I've marked off an inch and a quarter deep so that that way I'll know where to stop on each leg so that I make sure that I have a deep enough hole. Okay, so now it's time for us to drill the holes in the tops of our legs. And what we're gonna do is we're going to use the tooling marks that these legs are gonna have both on top and bottom as guides so that that way we can make sure that everything is still perfectly centered when it's installed. And then you're gonna wanna make sure as you're drilling these holes that you keep your drill bit as straight up and down as possible to make sure that your hole is also centered. Now, of course, when you're doing this, if you have a vise or a similar system that you can use to kind of clamp the legs down and hold them steady, then you're welcome to do that. Um, just if you are doing this, make sure you try to uh, hold the legs as steady as possible so that that way you can install the bolts as straight as possible. If they are a little bit off center though, then that should be okay because as you tighten the legs into the threaded inserts on the mounting blocks, then they should straighten out. So now that we're ready to install our hanger bolts, I'm gonna show you guys a little quick tip that'll help prevent you from having to use vice grips on the actual bolt itself and damage the thread. And that is to just do this, which is use two nuts the same size, just screw them on and then screw them against each other so that they lock together. That way you can use either a pair of vice grips or if you don't have that, you can even use a wrench and just use it on the top bolt and screw it down into your wood without having to worry about messing up the threads.
All right, so now that we have our inserts in, it's just as simple as lining them up with the threaded insert and installing. Now, if you notice while I'm doing this, there is some wobble and it looks like the leg may not be perfectly aligned when it's installed. That's okay. Just keep tightening it on and the bolt will straighten out in the leg. The leg will straighten out on the plate and everything will end up lined up perfectly. There we go. All right, now that assembly is done, we're gonna put a quick coat of paint on the legs and a quick coat of stain on the top, and then it'll be finished. Before we do that, we made the legs out of poplar, which is a new wood species that we just introduced here in the past month or so. We recommend poplar for being paint grade only. So make sure that if you order poplar, you order it with the intention to paint it only. So we're gonna go take this piece and we're gonna go finish it. And we'll show you guys some clips of how that turned out here in just a moment. All right, so before we go, make sure that you like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in any of the products that we showed, you, the links will be in the description box for those so that you can check those out. If you have any ideas or suggestions on what you may like to see in the next Builder Studio, drop us a comment and we'll see you next time.